What is the GE force that we are exposed to every day while walking, eating, or even sleeping, but we are not even aware of? Have you ever thought about how the one G-force in the world is formed, and how it affects us even if you don't realize it? If you are exposed to 5 G-force, the blood in your body will collect on your feet, your speech will be impaired, and maybe you will pass out. You'd be surprised how many G's fighter pilots are exposed to. Fighter pilots have to deal with two different G-forces. That is the positive G-force that the human body can withstand is around 9 to 10 G. The negative G-force that the human body can withstand is around minus 3 G. While positive G-force is the collection of blood in the feet, Negative G-force is the opposite, the collection of blood in the head area and is more dangerous than positive G-force. Fighter pilots first experience visual impairment. As a result of the high G-force they are exposed to, and then they pass out. They lose consciousness for about 20 seconds. During this time, they can sometimes even have realistic dreams. Some pilots do not even admit that they have lost consciousness until they watch their own videotape. Are you there? How you doing? How you doing? You know what happened? No, I don't. Huh? No. G lock. Are you alright? Alright. How you feel? Uh, a little bit here. A little bit? Yeah. Might take a sip of water or something, maybe. So, how do we define the G-force? The G-force, which is the measure of the acceleration felt as weight, is defined as 9.81 meters square second for stationary objects on Earth. In other words, the G-force you are exposed to by the world while watching this video is 1G. It occurs as a result of the centrifugal force of the Earth's rotation being balanced with the Earth's gravity. So, while the Earth is trying to throw us into space by spinning at a speed of 1,670 kilometers per hour, it also keeps us on it with its current gravity. The bodies of the creatures living in the world are designed according to 1G force, so it does not cause any negativity in living things. But what if we took you to the sun? The object with the highest G-force in our solar system. The gravity of the sun is about 28 G. If we ignore the immense heat of the sun, this G-force you will be subjected to will kill you instantly. Let's take a look at the opposite of this situation. Space has no gravity, so astronauts have to live at zero G for a long time. Although this may seem like a lot of fun, it causes many health problems for astronauts in the long run. While cardiovascular system problems manifest themselves at first, they have to deal with many problems such as balance system and musculoskeletal system. To reduce the negative effects of this situation, they do sports by attaching themselves to the space station. Astronauts who stay in space for a long time in a zero-gravity environment somehow manage to adapt to this situation, but they have to descend to the Earth since staying in space will cause much bigger problems. The bodies of the astronauts who landed on the ground have trouble adapting to the G-force applied by the Earth again this time, and they have difficulty even walking for a while. What do you think? Let's keep staying at 1G Force. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Bye.